Hi, I'm Bruce Berry with Pro Sport Fisher, and we're just cranking through flies today and, and how to videos. Today, we're going to do a possum leech, and um, this is the original color. Colors designed by my wife, purple and blue. It's been phenomenal. It's an easy fly to tie, and I'll show you some different color ways that we do. Uh, the actual strip itself, the possum comes on, you know, four inches wide and five inches tall. And what I do is I made little strips to lay it on, trace it out, and cut that taper strip. The possum hide is ground, so there's, you know, it's like a sheet of printer paper, maybe two sheets of printer paper. Doesn't hold much water. Wiggles really good. Possum naturally hates water. It's uh, just a great material. It glows in the water. So we do an orange and red. We do a purple and blue, which you just saw. Purple and blue taper cut. Today we're going to tie a pink and purple. And then the last colorway I like, and this is called hot cyan blue and black. So uh, we're going to get going here. So the first thing I do is take that microtube. This is microtube fluorescent orange and a matching hook guide fluorescent orange large and you can make the connection off on the needle I just find it easier to make the connection on the needle snug it and we're done the first thing I put on this one again is a raw weight we just did an adjustable weight system this fly could be done on the adjustable weight style this one is not originally so I'm going to tie it how I originally did it we'll start a thread okay so the first thing I'm going to go with is a UV polar chenille. This is hot pink. Tie that in. Pull the extras back and wrap over them so we've got a good secure tie-in point. Then we just sweep and wrap. One, two full turns, three full turns for the micro leech you may have saw earlier. We stopped at three, the three and a half, four full turns five full turns five and a half looks pretty good to me okay, so the back end of the fly is set up this is essentially your body here and I've been a big fan of super glue or zapper gap so this is going to be no exception just to help make the fly extra durable uh, if you guys want to know the rhyme and reason I want the fly about three and a half inches or so. So you take the length of the possum hair and then do your leather accordingly. The front is cut just wide enough so that when it goes around, it makes one lap around the tube. So that'll take a little bit of figuring out, but once you got it, you got it. So we'll put a little zap on there, which will strengthen that tie out. And it's also going to accept the possum. Place that on top of the tube. Good push. There we go. Nice soft wrap. See how everything's coming together. Now this full wrap creates some shoulder to the leather. So it actually, you can see it stiffens it. It has a tendency to not want to foul around the bottom side of the hook. Just adjust that the hair. And that's perfectly right down the center of the top of the tube. Forward, over, back, one, two, forward, over, back, one, two, cover up my X. And the tube compresses itself versus a shank or a hook, so it's really easy to lock materials down to this, and that's not going anywhere. Okay, so our, our wing is done, and then I'm going to use a rainbow flash boo, just a few strands on each side of the fly. probably got about 12 pieces. I actually want about half of that. There we go. And then I've found that this one, I can just divide it roughly in half. I'll talk about this in lots of my videos. That tie-in angle is like at a 45, and that helps keep the flash up with the water and not down fouling. So that side's done. Okay. So those are just placing wraps to get my angle. Now I want to lock it with a few, going advancing forward. Pull it over, lock it with a couple, pull it up into position so the angle matches. Put your thumb and forefinger and splay that out. 
get some nice uneven cuts. We'll keep it wiggling instead of clumping in the water. There we go, that's a done deal. Okay, so now for the purple part, I'm going to make a dubbing loop here. Hairline sells these, three or four different hooks. This is a great dubbing tool. Some guys know about the dubbing tool, the OPST is popular, there's quite a few out. Pick your favorite. Now to hold in that hair, I want to close the top of the dubbing loop, a couple of wraps, and we're set. Hot purple possum, that's going to be our collar, first collar. So I'm going to see what I need. Cut the leather. Okay, once the possum's in, I just want to spread that out. Give it a spin. I'm going to use the full length here, which is that quarter inch plus of butts. We're going to help prop the hair, get everything out of the way. And again, once you think you're in, just comb through and free up anything that got trapped. It could be a Velcro brush, free fleet comb, whatever. Give it another spin to lock it. Feel pretty good about that. I like to go with a hackle plier. Cut that away. So you can give it a tug. Yep, I'm in there. I'm good. Okay, so. Sweep and wrap. Sweep and wrap. I think that's two full turns. Sweep and wrap. Sweep and wrap. One, two. Pull that up. Advance some thread wraps forward. Pull it back and go over it. Super durable tie out. Okay, now we'll tend to bind a little bit, so just get in there and pick that back out so it's free to move. Okay, and we're going to finish with a piece of purple slopping. I like to tie in tip first, and I'm going to leave a little bit of the fluff at the base. As long as you have a stem that's skinny enough to wrap, a little bit of that fluff looks good. It's like mini marabou. Four to five turns or so. And I'm going to cut my tie-in. Boom. Okay. Just going to bend those hackles a little bit and fold them so it wants to lay back wet fly style. Maybe this is going to be one of those kind of hackles. Alright, there we go. Zappa gap trick. A little on the bodkin. Run it down the thread. Makes it super durable. The Zappa gap is old and I haven't trusted it lately, so I'm just going to do a two turn whip finish just to make sure. Get rid of the excess. Last but not least, this can be done without a cone on the front or with. This one's going to have an ultrasonic medium metallic purple. What that does is it creates a little water vortex. The holes are in it not because it makes a sonic noise. It just allows you to cast it and get it out of the water. So fly at sonic speeds. All this does is create a water vortex and help wiggle the wing. Um, so to apply that, I don't like the cones tight tight to the tube. So we'll put a little zap on, spin it around, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, didn't even have to go the full ten seconds, maybe. Yeah. 
Give that a few seconds, I'll cut it, burnish it, and show you the finished product. You'll be right back. Shortcut will hold the cone on, no problem. All I want to do is roll that lip, bring, bring the blue part of the flame down. Done deal. Just double check that we have a hole for a 10, 12, or 15 pound mono. If you closed it slightly, sweep back everything so you don't burn it. Put a little heat on it, bring it right back to the tube. There we go. Pro possum leaves pink and purple. Pro possum leaves purple and blue. Both good choices. Winter's coming. It's the first part of November. These are great flies. Uh, give it a try and play with your favorite color combinations.